مرحبا okay, in this session we want to talk about modular arithmetic okay what we will do is we want to introduce a slight modification of addition and multiplication on the integers so we want to define new addition and new multiplication but uh, let, let's first introduce this set z m z sub m is the set of integers starting with from 0 0 1 2 up to m minus 1 okay. so this zm is this set so for example if you choose z5 what's z5 then it is the set of integers from 0 to 4 5 minus 1 is 4 okay so this is z now let me introduce the modification of addition and multiplication so let a and B be any integers in ZM. So this means that A, B are integers between 0 and M minus 1. Then we define addition modulo M. So addition modulo M. How do we define it? We say that A plus, so here sub M, which means addition modulo M, B. What is this addition? First, we add the two numbers in, in, in the normal way. So we add a plus b. And then we find, we take a plus b mod m, which means we find the remainder after dividing a plus b by m. Remember, a plus b mod m means the remain, this, is, this is a number. This is the remainder of dividing a plus b mod m. And this remainder is the summation of A and B modulo M. And then we define multiplication. So multiplication mod M in this in a similar way that the multiplication of A multiplied by B modulo M. Okay, so this is the notation is first multiply a times b and then find the remainder after dividing by m okay so these are the two new operations let's take an example okay. let's take z11 let's work in z11 what is z11 this is the set of all integers from 0 up to 11 minus 1 which is 10 now let's compute what's 7 plus 9 modulo 11. How did we define this addition modulo 11? We first sum 7 and 9 and then take the remainder after dividing by 11. 7 plus 9 is 16 mod 11 and what is the remainder? So remember how do we compute 16 mod 11? We want to divide 16 by 11. So how many steps of length 11 we need to take to get close to 16? 1. And the remainder will be should be strict less than 11. So the remainder here is 5. Okay, so this is the remainder. So this, is mean, this means that 6, 7 plus 9 modulo 11 is equal to 5. Now let's find the multiplication of 7 multiplied by 11, sorry, 7 multiplied by 9 modulo 11. Okay, again, 7 times 9 modulo 11. This is, we first multiply 7 times 9 and then we find the remainder modulo 11. 7 times 9 is 63 modulo 11. And what is the remainder after dividing 63 by 11? So remember 63, how many steps we need? We need 5 steps of length 11, we arrive to 55 and the remainder should be less than 11. The remainder is 8, right? 55 plus 8 is 36. This means that 7 times 9 modulo 11 is 8. Okay, this is the remainder. Okay, more example. For example, what's 2 times uh, 
5 modulo 11 then this is 2 times 5 uh, mod 11 which is 10 mod 11 and what's 10 mod 11 what's the remainder of dividing 10 by 11 it is 10 why because 10 is equal to 0 times 11 plus 10 and look at this is the remainder it's strictly less than 11 remember the remainder has to have this property Let's see what's uh, 3 times 5 modulo 11. This is 3 times 5 mod 11. And this is 15 mod 11. And what is the remainder after dividing 15 by 11? It is 4. We take one step of length 11 and what remains is 4. Okay, so this is what is uh, modulo arithmetic. L let's... Uh, let me state some properties about these operations. So theorem. Let choose any two numbers in Zm. So we know that Zm AB is between 0 and M minus 1. Okay, choose it. Then the first thing you need to see is that when you add A and B modulo M, this number belongs to Zm belongs to Zm you see why? because what is what is A plus B modulo M? this is A plus modulo MB is equal to A plus B modulo M and what is this? this is the remainder after dividing by M but we know what is the property of the remainder so let's call this R we know R should be strictly less than M and bigger than or equal to 0 which means so r is between 0 and m minus 1 if it's strictly less than m then it's less than or equal to m minus 1 this means that r belongs to z okay similarly you can you can see that a times b mod m belongs to zm which means that this number okay this exactly means that this number is between m minus 1 and bigger than or equal to 0. Okay, a third property shows that addition modulo m is commutative. So a plus mod m b is equal to b plus mod m a. Okay, similarly for multiplication is commutative. So a times mod m b is equal to b times mod m Okay, and what else do I want to say? Look at this uh, fifth property is that A times mod M1 is equal to A. Okay, why is this? Let's prove it. So A times mod M1 is equal by definition to A times 1 modulo m and a times 1 is a and a mod m okay this is the remainder of a mod m but what is the remainder of a mod m remember that a belongs to zm which means that a is between 0 and strictly less than m so look at this a mod m is the remainder of after dividing a by m so let's divide a by m okay plus r so look this is true right a is equal to 0 times m plus a and we know that a is strictly less than m and between and bigger than or equal to 0 so this satisfies the the property of the remainder remember that uh, the division al algorithm it tells us that there are unique q and r such that r ha have this property so from the division algorithm since this means that a is the remainder of dividing itself by m this is because a is strictly less than m so this is equal to a okay for example what's 5 mod 7 this is equal to 5 because 
5 is equal to 0 times 7 plus 5 and 5 where 5 is strictly less than 7 and bigger than or equal to 0 I mean when this number is strictly less than this number then the number mod the bigger number is the smaller number if they were positive okay uh, okay so these are the properties these properties together with other properties define in mathematics what's called a group and a ring so here just a remark which is outside the scope of the course which says that if you look at this structure so zm together with addition modulo m so remember in general we have the integers and we have addition on the integers so here we have other special cases so look at the set from 0 to m minus 1 with this addition then this is called an abelian group so this is a structure which is called an abelian group abelian means the addition is commutative okay and if you look at this set zm with addition and multiplication so we have a set with two operations then we call this a commutative ring so these are objects in mathematics groups and rings and you study them in abstract algebra in modern algebra but a group means a set with one operation and some properties and a ring means a set with two operations and some properties like the properties we discussed here that the multiplication and addition are commutative and so on okay let me finish with one final comment is that this is not new to you because we usually in our daily life work with mod 12 where in the clock timing for example if now it's 11 in the morning and then plus four hours then this what time will it be this is 11 plus 4 mod 12 which is 15 mod 12 which is 3 okay this means that if it's 11 in the morning then after 4 hours it will be 3 in the evening so in in the clock we work with addition modulo 12